Hi YouTube friends, welcome. Join me because today we're making another paracord bracelet. So we want to start this one off by just feeding out the length of our bracelet and then we want to feed out another section so that we can tie a button. I'm just going to rotate this vertically and then I'm going to take this left strand and form an overhand loop. And I'm going to take this around the back and to the other side. And then I'm going to feed this strand down through that left loop. And just tighten that up. And we can adjust this loop here until it's about a centimetre or half an inch. And then we can start our braiding. Okay, bring your right hand strand across both of those core strands. And then with the left hand strand, just form an S shape. And then bring... The other strand over the top and then we want to take this strand around the back and up through that right loop and then we can draw this knot together And then we just need to repeat that pattern. So we'll bring that right hand strand across and we'll form an S shape with that left hand strand. It'll come over and then behind and through that right loop and again we can tighten up and you have to be careful the way you tighten this up we just want to have a gap here between these two strands and then I'm going to take this left strand here that runs diagonally across just hold that into place and then we can tighten this bottom knot up against this strand here. So just take your time and be a little bit careful when you're tightening these up. And then we can start that pattern again. I'm going to take that left strand across take that right strand and form an S shape I'm going to take this one over and then behind and up through that right loop and again being careful the way we tighten this up just going to fold this down making sure there's a gap between these two strands place this one on top just pinch it into place and then tighten the bottom knot up against And then we can just keep repeating that pattern all the way down the bracelet. So once you get to the end, we can just finish this off by tying one copper knot. 
I'm going to do that by taking the left strand over, right strand over that one, and then behind and up through that left loop. And then we can tie a button down here at the bottom. To do that, I'm going to start with my right strand and just form a loop by coming in underneath. And then with my left strand, I'm going to form a loop coming in on top. I'm going to take that right strand up through the right loop and this left strand down through the left loop and then just tighten the button by pulling outwards. Then we just need to cut and singe off these excess pieces. So I've cleaned up the excess pieces now and there you have the finished piece. If you like this kind of thing go ahead and hit the subscribe button because here we talk about both decorative and functional knots Thanks for watching, I like you all and I'll see you on the next video.